Heather Green and it's time for your shopping fix. We're here in Raleigh, North Carolina at Crabtree Valley Mall and we're about to go inside Hudson Belt where we're going to talk with Tim Gunn, star of Project Runway. So come on, let's go inside. You know him from Bravo's Project Runway and guest appearances on TV's The Biggest Loser and Ugly Betty. Tim Gunn is one of the most respected voices in the fashion industry and his sense of style is unmatched. Tim was recently named Chief Creative Officer for Liz Claiborne and he's currently on a nationwide tour to spread his fashion knowledge. We are pleased to welcome to today's show, Mr. Tim Gunn. Tim Gunn of Project Runway, how are you Tim? I'm great Heather, Good. thank you for wanting to be here with me. Oh, I love, I love it, this is great. You've got so many people coming out to see you, are you excited? It's exciting, it's very exciting. Now I'm how thrilled. many of these have you done? You know, I've lost count, but I'm thrilled, I'm thrilled to be doing them. I mean, we're, we're, our motivation is really to get out with our customers and and be accessible and, and respond to, to them and what they're re resonating to positively, what they aren't responding to, and also to be with our retail partners because our retail partners are essential to us and we can't do anything without them. Absolutely. And it's just great to be in their environments um, with their own customers and every store is different right. and every community is different and it's just great to be out here. So you learn something new every oh. time. Every time. Absolutely. Tons of new things. Well, I've got a few questions for you. Great. What are three of your must-haves for this summer? Well, I really believe in the benefits of a blazer. I know it's hot, but it can take a t-shirt and a pair of jeans, dress it up, and you can go out anywhere. You, you can really go out. Absolutely. And when I say blazer, it can be personalized. It could be a classic blazer, but it could also be a shrunken blazer. It could be um, anything that, that the, the individual feels represents her right. appropriately. I'm all in favor of the of the classic flat, the ballet mm -hmm. flat. I think it's a wonderful thing for the summer. Mm -hmm. No reason to be running around in, in the stilettos. New flip -flop. Yes, exactly. <laughs> it's the new flip flop. I so totally agree. Flip -flops. Yes. Um, and uh, frankly I love a classic crisp white pant. Really? Yeah. No, you know women are terrified I know. of white pants. I what know. can you do to make sure that you can't see all of our secrets. Oh, <laughs> well, you have to try it on, first of all. And frankly, right. if you can see all those secrets, it's probably not the right pants put for you. Back. Put, right. put them back. In fact, trying something on, trying everything on is my mantra. I mean, you, you, you really, everyone must do that. Mm -hmm. And when I visit women, as I do on Guide to Style, and go into their closets, and I find items that have price tags that are still on them, I ask, why why, why aren't you wearing this? What's why wrong? Why didn't you take this back? It's yes. because it's not the right size. They didn't try it on in the store. It, well, then why didn't you take it back? Oh, it's so much trouble. And I hear this all the time. So I'm guilty. Yeah, well, and I have to say in my own way, I am too. <laughs> but I'm, I'm going to stop that. It just takes a little bit more time and some discipline. But also, what about the fit? I mean, you want it to be right. And if it's a matter of just trading off a size, do it. But I will also say, here I am babbling at you. I no, apologize. No, I love it. Most of us cannot wear things right off the rack, and right. we would all benefit from, from, from having someone who can do a little bit of tailoring. Yes. And usually a dry cleaner can do that. Okay, that's a great idea, and it's kind of cost but you can get yeah. cheap, so that's yeah. great. Who, in your opinion, has seamless style? What celebrities do you just say, they're a step ahead every time? Well, I'm going to say Angelina Jolie, and, and that's because she, while well, yeah, she looks right on the red carpet, most people do, but she knows how to navigate the real world. Mm -hmm. And when she's picking up her kids, you see her dressed in something that's not a red carpet dress. Right. And she looks polished and sophisticated and ready to, to have the world greet her and vice versa. Absolutely. She's great. Okay, Angelina Jolie, definitely. Which designers set the trends, in your opinion? Well, without a doubt, Marc Jacobs. Oh. Um, I mean, it, 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 he's, he's always very far ahead in his thinking, right. and there is a shock value, generally, to what Mark presents. Right. But then two or three seasons later, we're going to see it translated for the real world. Right. Um, so Mark, certainly. Um, and, and I like to focus on the American designers, because I really believe in American design. Right. And um, it, we, we, don't, we don't do what the Europeans do. We look at design right. through a lens of commerce, which I, I, I applaud and salute and think that that makes designing for being an American designer and designing, I think it makes it more of a challenge and more of a real world challenge. Right. Um, Donna Karen, I'm always uh, very, very interested in yeah. in what she's doing. And and th then there is Diane von Furstenberg, who uh, really timeless. understands women. Mm -hmm. And while she is timeless, she still is ahead of the trends. I'm modern time. Absolutely. I know. Absolutely. I that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Diane's Classic. fantastic. Absolutely. Now, which is what is one of the biggest fashion mistakes women make when they're shopping for an outfit? It's about fit. 
display. It's not, it's not the, the item that they're choosing, mm -hmm. it's not the, the style, color. it's not even necessarily the color, it's the fit, and that's the mistake that they make. And so often, well, it, of course it can go either way. It can either be too big or it can be too small. And when it's too small, it's generally about a size tag uh -huh. and an ego. And when, when you're wearing the article of apparel, nobody knows what size so it true. is. And you, or you right. can just cut it out if you want. And when it's too big, it's the comfort trap. Gosh, I love that's so true. It's really true. I went to Gap the other day and I got these, I was like, size six. How did I go from a four to a six so quickly? And I was like, no way, I'm getting a four. No. So you're absolutely yeah, right. You hit the happens. nail on the head. All right, do you have any suggestions for women that are afraid to step out on a fashion limb? I love jeans and a t-shirt. I know you said blazers were a good way to, to bump that up. Where else can we start? Baby steps. Accessories. <gasps> That's a good idea. Accessories. You can do it there. You can do it with a handbag. Okay. You can do it with, I mean, one of my favorite accessory items of all time is a belt. Sounds so simple, yes. but it can take that voluminous top and it, it can cinch it. Right. And, and when Break you have up. a waist, show that waist exactly. It breaks it up proportionally. Right. Um, you'll see a lot of that on the runway today at our mm -hmm. Liz Claiborne show. Okay. Um, we love belts and we love what they do. It can be done with jewelry. Mm -hmm. It can be done with shoes. Okay. I mean, it's a way of just, even women, women who are afraid of color, and I own a lot of them, right. don't do it in your wardrobe. Stick, okay. stick with the neutrals, but, right. but, but g give a, yourself a pop of color with a nice little patent leather clutch or yeah. um, a handbag or um, a, a shoe. That, uh, Why is that so scary to step out and just buy? Because I'm the same way. I saw this beautiful green bag. I was terrified to buy it because I thought I'll wear it one time and then... Well, and you don't want that. You really don't want don't that. don't want a green? <laughs> no, no, no. It's not that you don't want the green. You don't want something you're only going to wear once. Right. You really don't. You want to okay. have the confidence to feel that it will become an important part of your wardrobe. I mean, people right. are understanding budget-minded mm -hmm. uh, particularly today and I love the fact that people shop on a budget because it means that you look at items and you ask creative. you are yeah. you're more creative and you ask am I really going to wear it right and will it have a uh, how will it fit in with the rest of my wardrobe and right. will it have a, a long-standing shelf life right. um, and I think with that green bag if you had that kind of visceral reaction, it wasn't the right color for you. Follow your instinct. Yeah, okay. because if you have to talk yourself into wearing it, it's yes. not good. But you will find a bag and a color that you really resonate to, right. buy it. Okay. You'll know. Okay, you that makes know. sense, and I did that, yeah. so good. Oh, good, see? Yes, I got yeah. it right. All right, so hot or not, I'm going to run down these really quick. Okay. Skinny jeans. Not. God. It makes you look like an upside down triangle. I've well, never it makes you look it. like you're wearing denim leggings. Yes. I hate that. Yeah. Oh, good. I'm so glad you said that. Oversized sunglasses. Hot. Okay. Yes. Good. I've got that too. My little Prada's vests. Hot. Hot. Very hot. Animal print. Well, I'm a sucker for an animal print. <laughs> I love an animal print. Me too. Um, so I'm going to say hot. Okay. Good. Go with your gut. Leggings. Not. <laughs> Big Is knot. That a double knot. <laughs> Metallics. Hot. Okay, very hot. Fitted suits, rimless, rimless glasses, and gray hair with a confident air. <laughs> <laughs> Is that hot, hot, hot? <laughs> well, thank you. Oh. Thank you. You're, that's a lovely surprise. It's so true. <laughs> thank you so much, Tim. Thank you, it Heather. Was such this is great pleasure. fun. Well, that does it for this shopping fix. Join us next time. I gotta go catch oh. the show.